how's it going guys? Sorry about that, my screen's a little bright. It, okay, it looks good now. Alright. It doesn't matter, because there's going to be a poster blocking it soon. But, okay, so. This is a review, not... I'm not... Okay, this is my first review where I'm not technically reviewing a horror movie. More of a crime, thriller, drama, I guess you can call it, but... This is not a horror movie at all. It does have a bit of uh, horror elements, but it is definitely disturbing enough for me to review. This film is called Irreversible. Irreversible is a movie that is done by one of my favorite directors of all time. His name is Gaspar Noé. I believe that's how you pr pronounce his name, but his name is Gaspar Noé. He did um, I Stand Alone, Irreversible, this one that I'm reviewing, Enter the Void. He did a bunch of, he doesn't, he's not a horror movie director, but he makes some really bizarre, creative, I kind of want to say art house films, but, um, he's an amazing director, again, one of my favorite directors, and he makes some downright messed up movies. But I think this one movie is, it kind of beats them all. This is, I think, in my opinion, the most disturbing, one of the most disturbing movies I think I've ever seen and witnessed. Um, I think the reason why it disturbed me so much was because, um, uh, my family was out, I was home alone, I think they were, they were at my, uh, brother's baseball game or something, but that's not important. Um, I was surfing through Netflix trying to find something to watch before they got home, specifically something I'm not supposed to be watching because, you know. But, um, yeah, so, I came across Irreversible, heard some pretty disturbing things about it, so I thought, hey, I checked that out, I'm not supposed to be watching it, so I'll watch it. And, um, I did. Irreversible. This is a very clever film, and, uh, I can't, I don't really know how to explain this movie. Alright, I here's a higher, this movie is literally, like, unexplainable. You cannot t explain the plot. Okay, this movie is about, it takes place in some, some t suburban town somewhere, and, um, there's this beautiful young girl, and she gets raped by this one guy. By the way, this is not a very nice town. This is not, like, an era you would want to be in. In other words, it's ghetto. But, um, yeah, so uh, she gets raped, and her cousins, they go out to find whoever raped them. So, basically, the whole movie is um, out on a rampage, you know, killing people, screaming at people. It all takes place at this one this one night at this one gay bar called the... Uh, I forgot what it was called. It was something weird, but, um, yeah, they're at a gay bar, S&M gay club, sorry, not bar, club, a gay club, and, um, basically stuff goes down, and I basically just told you the whole movie there. But here's the thing that's very clever about it. This movie is filmed in a non-chronological order. In other words, the beginning is the end, and the end is the beginning. Does that make sense to you? It is done in irreversible order. Okay, so let, let me just kind of explain this to you. Let's say there's there's 13 scenes in the entire movie. There's like this one scene, this one scene, let, let's call them chapters. There's this one chapter, one chapter, one chapter. Okay, say the 13th chapter, which is the final chapter, is the very beginning of the movie, and then it just like goes on from there, like backwards. Am I making sense? It's very hard to explain, but... This movie is so incredible. Now, um, one of the best directors alive right now, Christopher Nolan in his name, you probably know him. He did the Dark Knight trilogy and Inception and whatnot. He made a movie called Memento back in 2001 with a similar sort of uh, thing here. Like, I've heard that movie. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was filmed in an unchronological order as well. Like, they just put, like, random scenes in movies that weren't in chronological chronological order. Um, this movie came out in 2002, so it did come out around the same time as Memento, so I kind of want to say, like, neither of the films really, like, cheated off of each other. They're just, like, they sort of just came up with it during the same time. But you got to give them credit because this, this is genius. You cannot tell a story backwards. Like, how do you do that? But yeah, guys, this movie is very hard to follow, and when you watch it, 
I, I, while I was watching it, I was kind of reading off, like, to Wikipedia plot, because on Wikipedia, they, like, tell the entire story uh, scene by scene, so I was, like, kind of following it, because I, I couldn't understand it. I didn't know what was going on. I knew it was in unchronological order, but I just, I couldn't, like, it's too much for me. I couldn't understand it. Then I finally got the movie, and, um, yeah, I, I, you guys are probably wondering, why the hell are you reviewing this, and what does this have to do with anything horror? Um, oh boy, here it goes. There is this one specific scene, yes, the rape scene, which lasts approximately over nine minutes. The movie is, I think, I think it's 109 minutes, um, an hour 49 minutes, and there, this one scene, just this one scene, um, I, I want to call it a chapter, this long chapter of just this guy raping this girl, it's just done so well, there is, she's walking down, she just got back from a party, or she's leaving a party, and, um, you know, she's walking down the street, and she goes into, like, this little tunnel, subway station, whatever, and, um, she sees this guy, he's, like, beating up this prostitute, and the prostitute, like, gets away, and he looks at her, and he all of a sudden, still, like, starts making comments at her, and he starts, like, touching her, and sooner or later, he he starts doing it, and it's, it's so well done, but just so hard to watch, you're just thinking, oh my god, like, I almost cried at one point. That's how terrifying it was to watch this. Like, it is so realistic. Like, she, he has his mouth covered over her mouth, his hand covered over her mouth, and she's just screaming her eyes out. You can hear, like, the the skin. Yeah, it's, it, you kind of, it's, you have to have, you have to be mature while watching this to, like, understand the fear. Because, I mean, if you're immature, then you, you're probably going to laugh at it a little bit, but... Like, take this seriously, and it is terrifying to watch. Like, it's it's very well done, and definitely one of the best scenes I think I've seen in a movie ever. If you're, like, some 10-year-old kid or somebody still in middle school or elementary school and is too immature to take a good movie seriously, don't even bother watching it, because, yeah. You won't understand... The goodness of the movie. That didn't even make sense. But you get my drift. Despite that one terribly disturbing scene. There are, there are uh, um, also very other disturbing parts in the movie. Such as a guy getting his head smashed in with a fire hydrant. That part was very very gross and disturbing. And there's like a bunch of other parts of with like a shootouts and stuff. And yeah. Alright guys, this movie, it's, I, I kind of, that's all I can really explain to you about this movie. I highly suggest you just, I don't care about your age, I don't care about your taste in movies, please go see this movie. It is streaming on Netflix right now. I honestly, yeah, it's on Netflix. I, that's how I watched it. It's on Netflix. Um, but yeah, whoever you are, please just go watch this movie in your spare time. I'm not saying to watch it right away. You like it's not a movie where you have to see. Well, it kind of is, but you. Just, I mean, take your time and just one day, just watch it. You will be amazed. It is a very, very well made and great film. Not a horror movie again, but it's disturbing enough, I think, for me to review again. The movie is not in English. It is actually. Uh, God, I forget what language it's in. Uh, the director, I don't even know what nationality he is. He's like a... I don't know. I I honestly don't know. His name's Gaspar Noé. I don't know uh, what that is. I don't know. Overall, I would probably give this film, honestly, four and a half out of five stars. It is very good. Again, it's just, I don't think I would ever want to watch it again. Does that even make sense? Okay, this guy posted on the internet, um, he just got back from seeing a screening of Irreversible back when it first came out. He said that this movie is one of his favorite movies of all time. He just does not ever want to see it again. It's not a movie he'd think he would ever want to watch again. Like, you never hear that. Like, why? You would never hear that. You would never hear anybody say that. Yeah, I also heard that um, during early screenings of the movie... Um, I think this is, think, I think this is the movie that, um, 
I think this movie won a world record of the most people who, like, walked out of the early premiere of it. Um, a lot of people walked out. I heard a lot of people got sick, and a lot of people, like, uh, you know, they got sick. Like, there's a part in the movie, or there's a special effect in the movie. Um, you can kind of tell it, like, in the very, begin very beginning of the film, like, during the club scene and all that. Um, you can hear this, like, this, uh, this sound, and it gets... Like, you hear it more and more and more as the movie goes. And it's like, it's this very unsettling sound and it kind of makes you sick, but that's, it causes like a, it just fits with the movie. It's just, I, it's I, that's a very well, that's a good touch. But yeah, I think I'm done talking about this movie already. I'm just freaking myself out just by thinking about it. Again, a very disturbing film, but you just need to see it for yourself. It's, it's a very well made film, just be aware of, some very unsettling scenes. Um, but yeah, that's all about all, all I have to say for this movie. Alright guys, if you want to see me review more disturbing crap, please leave a suggestion down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.